And Christy, thank you. More towing troubles in Spartanburg after coal towing removed six cars from the Blue Bay Seafood Restaurant parking lot during Sunday lunch. Now those customers are crying foul. You might know the name coal towing. We've reported on them before, and these customers say the signage is unclear. They insist they should have had more warning before their cars were taken. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown standing by live for us tonight in Spartanburg County with an update. Kim. Gordon, a lot of customers in disbelief when they came out of the restaurant on Sunday afternoon to find that their cars were gone. They thought they were stolen until they reached out to police and found out they were towed. I think it's a racket. And I think this is, um, I think it's really extortion is what I think it is. Walter and his family were in town for a funeral over the weekend. They walked out of the Blue Bay restaurant Sunday afternoon only to find two of their family cars gone. They were towed along with five other cars by Cole Towing. The uh, police told us uh, they had issues with this particular before. While towing signs are posted in this parking lot, the signage does not indicate which is restaurant parking and which is private parking. According to Major Art Littlejohn, coal towing is well within their rights. Like I said earlier, it's private property. Would it be in private property? The people who own the property has a right to say who can park on their lot. Matt Dennage, owner of the Blue Bay Restaurant, says in a statement, In the 11 years since my wife and I have owned Blue Bay Restaurant, nothing like this has ever happened. We don't have a contract with any company to remove cars from our parking lot. We have always shared the parking lot without incident. Moving forward, we are working to find ways to protect our customers. When customers dine at Blue Bay this evening, restaurant staff will be in the parking lot directing traffic. And we reached out to Cole Towing. We also reached out to the owner of this parking lot. Still haven't heard back from either. Also, the owner of the restaurant saying, as you just heard, they're doing all they can to make sure their customers are okay when they come to this restaurant. The owner, the uh, restaurant patrons who were there on Sunday here for a funeral, they had to stay an extra day in order to get their cars out of impound, paying $140 a piece just to get their cars back. Reporting live in Spartanburg, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. So the parking lot you're in right now, Kim, are, is it just some of the spaces are for the restaurant and some aren't? Or, or, or is the whole thing a private lot for someone else? Absolutely, and that's where the confusion comes in. There's a strip of spaces exclusively for the restaurant. Once you step over into the next line of parking spaces, there are about two or three that belong to the restaurant, but as an average customer, you wouldn't know that just driving in. So that's why the owner of the restaurant says he'll be out to clearly show customers where they can park and where they'll have their cars when they come out from enjoying their establishment. Gordon? It really is confusing. Kim Brown, thank you.